A man is shot and killed inside his home by an intruder who police describe as homeless and was living inside her car. It happened in a quiet neighborhood in Mid Wilshire, where residents say they are stunned by the deadly violence. John Finolio is live at the scene with the latest on the investigation and the victim. John. Uh, Sharon, Mike, and neighbors say the victim and his fiance were both home at the time of this attack. The LAPD says when officers arrived, they discovered the guy had been shot by an intruder. Neighbors say they then watched as a woman stood right outside the victim's front door with her hands in the air and surrendered to police. I keep picturing his face and I can't believe he's passed. Mid Wilshire residents are mourning the loss of a friend and neighbor who was shot and killed Monday night. I was hoping he'd be okay. I, I just it didn't even like cross my mind that he could die. Avery Shevin was home when she heard sirens and a police helicopter overhead around 630 in the evening. I opened my front door and there was a cop there and he goes go back inside. She says she was baffled by the crush of cops swarming her building on the 900 block of Allendale Avenue, especially because she hadn't heard a commotion previously. It's really weird because I didn't hear anything like no gunshot no arguing, nothing. And it's the kind of thing where, like, if there's a gunshot a mile away, I hear it. Right. So how do I not hear it right there? She watched from her window as police arrested a woman standing in the walkway with her hands in the air. The LAPD has identified her as 36-year-old Jamila Elena Michael of Los Angeles. Authorities have not released the victim's identity. But neighbors say the victim was 33-year-old Michael Latt, describing him as a compassionate and generous person. He's a super sweet guy, you know, him and his girlfriend live there with the dog and a cat. It's just like very mellow. A motive for the shooting is not yet known. Police describing the female suspect as an intruder who appeared to be living out of her car. If it's the car I'm thinking of, it was a nice car. I mean, not, you know, yeah. it was like a nice car. Investigators say the suspect remained at the scene until officers arrived. Shevin says the victim and his girlfriend were both home at the time. His girlfriend, who lives in the apartment, I mean, she wasn't outside, she was inside. She, so she was home? She was home. So it was, yeah, she was home, he was home, and then this other female. She's still trying to make sense of why someone would kill her kind neighbor. He was very compassionate, very low-key, very gentle, a humble guy. I'm just like numb and shocked. Neighbors say the victim was alive when paramedics rushed him to the hospital. He died hours later. Now that suspect is being held on a $3 million bond. Jail records indicate she has no criminal history. Her initial court date has not yet been posted. For Live in Mid-Wilshire, I'm John Finolio. Back to you. John, thank you.